तो वी आर लाइव है एवरी वन टूडे वीडियो टॉपिक इज हाउ टू बी अगर इन वन डे obviously it it may sound uh, misleading but be with me uh, till the end you can get a pretty pretty good idea of what hacking is so be with me uh, let me uh, help you there okay so the whole point of uh, hacking is how to break it simply uh, you can understand by this if you are a developer what would you think okay how to make my application more efficient how to make my efficient uh, application more bug free okay how can i improve it how can i make it more uh, clean how can i make it more uh, you know stable but if you flip the coin and now you are a hacker what would you think okay what possibly can go wrong here what what can go unexpected what can go uh, what what would what would happen if i change this uh, is this variable Uh, how can i leverage it how can i leverage this uh, you know unintended behavior to my own gain so this is this is the uh, approach of a uh, hacker okay first thing we will uh, exploit is command execution vulnerability so uh, stop here and it is the prerequisites uh, so uh, if you know any programming language you can get uh, you can have a pretty good idea okay so 10.0.2.5 if we submit this ip address obviously any ip address so what application this application does this application ping this uh, ip address uh, send uh, send packets and it will then uh, give back that stats like uh, zero packet loss and delay so that means this uh, server is running that's what this application does but if we can if we look at the source code so it request the obviously that input column that ip and it save it here and what it does it it, it embed this uh, user input into ping command okay and it execute it that's it and now it echo it any uh, i mean uh, it will you know send back the data to client i mean user end so what can go wrong here if you if you see properly there is no input sanitization or input validation and all of you can all of you uh, know that we can we can run more than one command in a single run that means we it has a vulnerability called appli uh, command execution command injection that means uh, alongside this uh, ping command we can we can inject our own uh, you know uh, command into the server and the server uh, server may be server will uh, run it okay let's so it there is no input validation okay let's abuse it 10.0.2.5 what i told you that uh, there is no input validation and we can run multiple commands in a single line okay how by end okay or by just simply semicolon types okay type semicolon and let's try echo my name is gautam let's try this echo command so what it does okay see it pinged that ping it run ping command and then it echo, it run that echo command to my name is gautam that means we can we can inject our, our uh, you know input uh, command is running there okay so let's try zero or we can do by this semicolon that's it okay uh, cat bin not bin etc password let's try let's try let's try let's try let's try i don't know yeah see we have successfully read that uh it is a password file okay so now you got the idea uh let's try with accesses stored stored access vulnerabilities so here are the things we can we can input our name and we can hi every one it is a simple uh see my message is uh, my message is stored in the page now before i go to there let's open that because obviously otherwise you won't be having any idea 
so this variable take input the message from message call message input field and this is this uh, save name and what they does they run a query a sql query okay and they insert into guest book table comment and name both okay by name and they get they give the value obviously it is uh, parameterized as i can see yeah it is parameterized query so there is no sql injection here actually but obviously there is no sql injection but there is a uh, there is a, a scro uh, stored cross site scripting that means if if i embed a uh, javascript code here like this script tag alert you have been hacked okay and script and that means hacker see uh, it uh, got executed obviously because now it's embedded in the page and whatever the script is embedded in the page it will be executed now my name is obviously a hacker suppose i am a hacker and i opened it and i uh, you know uploaded that my name and my message obviously message is not a string that's why it's not showing but now even if someone co comes it obviously it will be persistent it will be always be there so this script will be executed on everyone's uh, browser that's how uh, internet worms uh, you know are spreaded like if i suppose it is a facebook and i found this vulnerability stored cross site scripting and i injected a script that that uh, can that makes you my friend and send a message send uh, message link to their all friends that uh, hey come uh, see this page and whoever come to this page will be added into my friend list so it will be, it will create a worm okay let's go to somewhere else and come to here again so uh, pretty much i go i gave you the idea so the idea is you just have to uh, be uh, you know be a more insightful or be some someone like how can i break it see we have we have uh, we we have inspected the code and obviously from the code we got to know that there is no input validation and uh, th obviously there was there was no sql injection vulnerability there but there was we found out that okay here is stored access vulnerability because uh, whatever we upload will be stored so this is how uh, vulnerability research works okay okay this is how vulnerability research works or uh, same thing so the all, all you need is how can i find this vulnerability and how how can you get uh, experience obviously by trying by yourself uh, you know but all also read the walkthroughs binary exploitation ctf i didn't choose because many of you don't understand that you know uh, you know high end stuff like computer architecture and binary uh, you know reading or assembly code and so bye